everybody. It's us. It's E3. Yes. It's here. To now. The team. Or sometime around here. And we keep trying to do one of these things, but then new announcements start showing up. Yeah, so we're doing Nobody this. Nobody waits for E3 yeah. anymore. Yeah, this has been the weirdest like prelude until E3. We've got leaks, we've got announcements, we've got not really announcements, but might as well be announcements. Mm -hmm. Teasers and reveals. Let's just get started now before we, we, we everything else gets announced. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the games that have already been announced. Because <laughs> we were, we were going to predict them, but they already are happening. So we'll just go forward. Right? Yeah, we're going to talk about the big uh, press events that are going to be happening over the course of uh, E3 week, and uh, we'll give our uh, impressions after the fact. So we're going to start with EA. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to remember, last year was not a good year for EA. EA Play! EA Play, which is their th this is the third year they're doing it. Yes, yeah, so it's basically um, a, a convention dedicated to just EA. Yeah, and we know that last year there was a big push to Battlefront 2. They yep, had a full Star multiplayer Wars. match in there. We saw mm -hmm. some NBA uh, segment there for some reason. <laughs> Oops. Um, a Way Out, however, was a really well announced Big game surprise. Uh, Big that surprise. was shown there. And uh, there was like little uh, specks of interest coming in there, like the Need for Speed game, but then we found out that there was some weird card progression system that just ruins the game. Unfortunately, what happened with EA was a lot of their games ended up having these weird loot crate and card things yeah, that, that made progression that really bad. ruined everything. And I saw a little bit of it, uh, or a little, a little Little teasers, little, 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 teasers little, of, nuggets. little nuggets of it last year, but now, of course, now we know. <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Now we know what, where yeah. they can go. And yeah. I'm afraid, and they they said uh, publicly that they will continue doing this or some variation, or some variation of, of it. But moving forward, the first game, uh, Battlefield Five. Yeah, Battlefield. Not to confuse with Battlefield Two or Battlefield One, which was yet yeah, last, last time. time. I don't know why it's called Five, but either way, it's technically the fifth major Battlefield game, but it is World War Two. Yes, and uh, and they said they you know, didn't they say there was no microtransactions in this one? They said there's no game pass or like there's no pass season pass. season pass, and they gave implications that there's no traditional loot box system. Traditional, uh, tradi I, that's what it comes out as. It was a half an hour reveal event where they just had Trevor Noah just pretty much interview people for a half an hour before showing a, a, a uh, semi trailer of the game. So we're we're going to expect a big showcasing of this. This is their like their Star this Wars the Battlefront 2. Yeah. I expect, this is this is yeah. the game they want to focus on after the event, the conference, they'll have a huge event with a bunch of stars. They're, they're going to have like the usual affair, which is that after their press event, they're going to have a half an hour. They might not even tell you that it's the end of the press event. It made us immediately bleed into Just go right into it. Well, they did last year with Battlefront. So this year they're going to do it with Battlefield 5. Uh, I suspect we'll be seeing single player contents in another press event, but EA specifically is going to take the multiplayer going for that. And then, of course, following in this is all the sports. Yeah. So we got FIFA 19, and we got Madden NFL 19, and we got NBA Live 19. Those are the three major sports games they got going. Uh, we know that FIFA has that single player campaign with Alex Hunter, I think is the name of the guy. And they might, and keep, they might keep that going. They might keep that going. This would be the third year they would do it. But there was also the Madden NFL game last year they actually introduced with a story mode. So they might do a sequel so they, to that. Yeah, they might do a sequel to that. Uh, and, of course, apparently. They might put a bunch of loot crate stuff into that stuff. Well, I mean, they kind of do, but they already do that. That's where they make a lot of money. FIFA is where they get a lot of their money from that. And then there's also NBA Live 19. Last year they had tried showing it, but they did a poor job showing it. They had like, this video feed that wasn't even the video feed. Uh, expect to see a lot of trailers and expect at least one person that's sports oriented show up on stage. Last year, oh, that's, they had, that's a given. Last, yeah, last year they had the two men in blazers, which were, I guess were a big UK. I would imagine. I UK never heard of them before. Football group. Uh, football meeting uh, soccer, uh, and then they also had like before that they had Pele a few years ago. So I suspect we're going to see at least one moment like that. Uh, it's going to be a lot longer than we would like it to be. But EA makes a lot of money off sports, so they're they're not yeah. not going to talk about it. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to see a Need for Speed game. Uh, last year was a Need I, for Speed title. I, think I see. I'm, what was the last year? Last year we had Need for Speed Payback. That was the one. With that the, was the, the game with the card system. system. Yeah. So we won't be seeing that now. Do you think of Burnout? If they if they brought a burnout like that would be the that this would make this would make that conference yeah because like, they actually did a burnout and a legit burnout yeah they did they did an HD remaster of Burnout Paradise recently so mm -hmm. I, I wonder if they want to get people ready for it maybe not this year but next year I know they have like you know that Criterion games they more or less have been reduced to a really small team and I wonder if they're working on a reboot of the Burnout series unless they're actually were behind that last game that just came now out. what you said was interesting you mentioned uh, that there was the the remaster. Yeah. Maybe we might see more EA remasters. Maybe, but not here. 
Uh, this is all new stuff. Yeah, right? it's about new stuff. Yeah. In fact, you 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 reminded me that they always do this uh, this charity event where they talk about like if you do these things and play these games, we'll eventually donate this money to these charities. I think they're going to do something like that again. They'll obviously toot their horn about that. In fact, expect them to talk about the players a lot because it's EA Play, but also because there's a lot of. Uh, animosity that they have out there for the stuff that came out at the end of last year. Yeah, so the, expect the, them to try and the say, we're better thing. this time, folks, we're better. Uh, speaking of which, better, uh, we did, the, well, one of the best things that happened last year was The Way Out, which was their EA Originals line. Yes, yeah, so we're hoping for another original EA Originals. Yeah, yeah. Um, a new, either it's going to be a new indie game or even a sequel to an old one. Yeah, they're, uh, the developer of Unravel did say they were working with EA now on some sort of follow-up. Uh, so I think an Unravel 2 is expected. It's, I don't think it would, it would be weird if we went through a year without an EA original, at least to keep people excited, because A Way Out did very well in the market. But you know what? That's the indie. Let's look at the big stuff. <laughs> this is, the big this is EA. Yeah. Star Wars. Yep, Star Wars. Well, why does it not have the same oomph as it used to have? They've been doing this for five years. Well, they've only released two games. <laughs> and both That's of them it. Battlefront. And both of them were Battlefront, and, and only one of them had a single-player campaign. And in that one, it was botched with the Loot Crate system. Yeah. So there was a lot of problems that they've done with the Star Wars license. Yeah, and Amy Hennig's game didn't really uh, make it out. And I think that's what we're, we're, we're expecting, or, or at least we're hoping for, yeah. we, is seeing that Star Wars game finally coming yeah. forward. I remember it was either two years or three years ago, they showed like this, that they mentioned that Respawn was making a Star Wars game, and I think now is the time to at least show a teaser trailer that respawn it, or a video that's saying, "Oh, God, yeah, well, respawn is working on the next uh, their Star Wars, Star Wars game." Here's a video, behind the scenes video of it, and we'll get back. But to the it. idea is that you don't not talk about an idea yeah, yeah, that yeah. you have. This is that they have to have something, even if yeah. it's mobile game or something. They oh, gosh, just need game. to have a Star Wars game out there just to say, "Listen," or even a teaser. Yes, yeah. it's just to say we have a Star Wars game. It's still in production. Yeah. It's not coming out this year. It's definitely not ready this year. Well, Battle, ba the they could say they go to Battlefield Five. They're not going to put in that, uh, put you got a point there. Yes. Uh, but, oh, but you missed that other game. There's one more game that I think is actually going to be bigger, or they're hoping for it to be as bigger. And that's Anthem. Yes, Anthem. That's Anthem. A, that's a big one. Last time they had a little teaser for it, and then uh, Microsoft had the actual unveiling of it. Ooh, yeah, it was and, more like the full reveal of gameplay. Now that was more of a vertical slice. Clearly, it was a set piece set up just to show us. Uh, the game is supposed to be like Destiny and working in squads and supposed to be like Destiny. That game was Destiny. It was Destiny. Well, it wasn't Destiny because Destiny is a first person shooter. But the the the, but, the 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 from the design standpoint and from the concept of you know playing games together, doing raids, getting loot, which, Destiny. which was thrown off in that video. Yeah. That's going to be a thing. So my my opinion of how this is going to play out is that EA is going to showcase Battlefield 5 first. Yeah. And then say it stick around we're going to have a multiplayer a live multiplayer of 50,000 people playing at the same time <laughs> after the show and then they're going to end the show with Anthem with Anthem and then transition into the multiplayer. Yeah. That's what I think it is cuz Anthem was too big of a of a teaser at the end to not be given a a bit yeah. highlight. And it did get delayed into like the very end of the fiscal year, like a very like close to March. Like they're, we're talking like as far into the first quarter as they could get. But if you if you're EA, you want to get you want to get this big. So and, the, and and it's not going to be at the Microsoft conference. It's going to be here. So you're not even going to see it at all. Even though Microsoft might be trying to push it more, especially with the Xbox One X. All right, they more. might, they might. Okay, yeah. you got. Now you the got question is, do they're going to have a full demo in here, or they're going to have a full demo at Microsoft? I think the former. They might I think we're going to have a demo. I think a story trailer might be. They be. Oh, they're going to have a, definitely have a trailer revealed in the ninth. Yeah. So maybe maybe it's the same thing. We're going to see a full blown story trailer, and they'll be like, "Hey, come on to Microsoft's conference. We're going to show you where we've gone." Yeah. So in case anything gets announced. We just knew. Yeah, we just knew. Yeah, we, 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 surprise! Surprise! But they've, they've been showing off some stuff that they're kind. Of, they even showed the box art today, so that that is dated where we are in this recording. But all right. So anything else with EA before we move on? I hope it's presented well. They did. A, they they really like. Please no really influencers. I don't want any more influencers. They always seem to mess up the conversation. We're. I mean, I'm going to expect some of that. I'm expecting. And I really. Oh hope, yeah, we're going to expect. We're going to. Oh, esports. 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 E MLS. Which was that PAX? I get it. I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. Anyway, EA, my hype level is right now one out of five. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not expecting it to 
blow me away. Because we already know Maybe, what we, we already know what's going to be there. We know what's going to be there, and we know what's the, what they have. I mean, I have hope for Battlefield Five to be nice, and Anthem could be able to pull itself out. But frankly, what I've just listed off, I don't have much faith <laughs> in them enticing me more than they. For me, yet. the only thing that would make me excited for EA's conference would be a, a new EA original, or even Unravel Two. Just just something to show yeah, that yes, no, we're definitely. we may have big IPs like Star Wars. Oh, boy, that actually that. Star, Star Wars, Wars might get me. Oh, yeah. I get really excited for Star Wars. But um, as far as uh, a small indie game, that, that, might, that, 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 that might do it. The or little, the little spice in the middle of the steak to just make it come out. That was a weird analogy. I think we need to get going. Yes, we're done with EA. Uh, next will be Microsoft. Yeah, so check us out.